Hello guys, BMD Zero here, and today I'm gonna do a video on this little Sioux Line uh, F7. So I just restored it, but you might be asking, hey, it's a new locomotive, how come it needs to be restored? Actually, while I was playing with it, the drive shaft came off the motor. Basically, if you don't know what that is, uh, the motor turns the drive shaft, and the drive shaft connects to the trucks, and it moves like these wheels here. So, um, those drive shafts unconnected from that motor in there. And, um, basically, it just made a loud humming noise, and the light turned on, but it stayed in place. So, after a long time and a big break from fixing this, I finally fixed it. So, uh, yeah. Also, I did weather it a little bit. I, I use a pencil, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I just did this to add a little bit of realism. I like having locomotives weathered. I think it's pretty cool. Also, I just added on that uh, Norfolk Southern right there because uh, I'm going to make these two pull some freight. But um, this Sioux Line locomotive was one of the first model trains I ever had. In 2019, uh, we, me and my dad started HO layout this one. And uh, this was one I got for Christmas in a train set. And uh, I think it was Menards exclusive. But um, I think the set is called Great Lakes Flyer. Comes with like a gondola and a boxcar in the caboose which the caboose is on display with the pennsylvania e unit uh anyways i put that caboose there because that the sioux line wasn't working at that time but uh i'll probably take the sioux line caboose off and probably use it a bit more so anyways uh let's couple up to the train